As more candidates officially enter the race and introduce themselves to voters, other poll numbers are beginning to shift. We have a brand new CBS News poll out tonight. And to break it down, here's Anthony Salvanto. Thanks, Jeff. You know, with each new set of poll numbers, it seems like this race gets more and more wide open. Big news out of this one. First of all, Marco Rubio, who recently announced, joins the top tier of candidates that Republican voters say they'd consider voting for, almost half at 48 percent now. Now, Mike Huckabee, who just announced today, he's right up there. He's been up there because he's got good name ID. He's run before and won some states. Jeb Bush, same thing. So that's your top tier among Republicans. Let me show you the rest of the field. For all these candidates, Cruz, Perry, Paul, Carson, Walker, more Republicans say they would consider them than not. But the big numbers for a lot of these are the don't knows. They're still unfamiliar to a lot of voters. It's still early in the process. Maybe they have room to grow. They certainly have work to do introducing themselves. Now, what will make or break this field and this race as we go forward? A few key issues. First of all, it looks like dealing with ISIS. Republican voters say they couldn't consider somebody who didn't agree with them on how to do that. Also, of course, on the health care law and Obamacare, which most Republicans really oppose, less so immigration and same-sex marriage. Now, two other candidates, one who's recently announced, Carly Fiorina, she's still largely unknown to most Republicans, and Chris Christie, New Jersey governor, more Republicans say they wouldn't consider him than say that they would, so he's got some work to do there if he runs. And on the Democratic side, it still looks like a runaway, of course, for Senator Hillary Clinton, who, for whom most, most uh, Democrats say they would consider voting for her. They would consider some other candidates should they get in. They would consider more so the, than not Bernie Sanders, but he still remains largely unknown to most. So on the Democratic side, still looks like Hillary Clinton far and away the front runner.